Zippity doo da, beautiful day, great to be alive. Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Chris Brown here again. Now, if you've taken the advice that we've given you, and that is to create as much blog content as you possibly can. Uh, ideally, you want to, like your target is that you want to go for somewhere about 360 blog posts, but you might not have to do that. I only had to create just slightly over 100 blog posts before I was generating a couple thousand visitors a day. Uh, I put in 50 blog posts the very next day and I was generating 10,000 visitors a day. Yesterday, I generated almost 14,000 visitors just yesterday in itself. So what I'm suggesting you need to do is just get out there, create your blog content, create your articles until Google is sending you enough traffic to generate anywhere from about 2,000 to about uh, 5,000 visitors per day. Then at that point, you can go ahead and and fix up everything and clean up everything uh, and that way you can have a professional blog not only that you can only have a professional blog but also that you're going to start generating some revenue from that blog so chances are you've already done plenty of blog posts so what we're going to do now here we're going to come over to where it says post we're going to select all and then we're going to go to uh, we're actually going to go look at all of our posts so we're going to go edit the blog post that I have already created. So I'm at 159 blog posts that I've personally done. And as you can see here, this is the one that we've been working on, free government money to start a home-based business, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and select edit. It's gonna take just a minute for that to, to kind of load up here. And uh, what we did in our last video, we talked about the dual readership path. We wanted to get a general idea of what the entire blog is about, right? within just a couple of seconds so people can scan it and kind of get a general idea of what the blog is about. Now let's come over here and I do want to kind of show you what the blog looks like as of right now um, because of that dual readership path. So um, there's the blog article. Let's just kind of wait for it to completely load up. And I scroll down and here's what we worked on. So the dual readership path is completely finished at this point. So as you can see, uh, adding three to five hundred dollars per month added onto your paycheck from your job. We're going to explain why the government is willing to do this. If you're not already qualified, how to do that? Why is the government willing to do this? If you if you do things to help the economy, they will give you a bailout check. Invest in the economy, Wall Street, real estate, provide job opportunities. But there is a much easier way. Here's what happens: while you still have a job and attempt to become self-sufficient by earning an income without your job, they will. They will add an average of three to five hundred dollars per month added onto your paycheck from your job, which will save you anywhere from two thousand to ten thousand dollars a year on your normal everyday expenses. Now you may ask, why haven't you heard about this until now? There is enough tax laws and codes to fill seven Bibles, so it would be impossible. It would be an impossible job for your tax professional to know it all. A uh, tax professional who specializes in special type of tax laws and then download your forms for as low as $27.95. So this is a pretty big long blog article, way longer than what I normally suggest. Um, but as you can see here, within just, even despite how long this blog article is, within just a few seconds, or we know, we, we get the gist of the, out of this entire article just because of this dual readership path, right? So um, let's come over back over here too, and let's go ahead. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a picture. Now, first of all, you might wanna know how to find a picture. So uh, there's, you just have to keep an eye out for this because there's a lot of copyright pictures out there, but look for royalty free pictures is ideally what you would wanna do. Um, but let's say you came over to Google, and so I'm gonna do an IRS re, Fund check. Okay, so that's what I'm going to look for, and then I'm going to go over to where it says images, and it's going to show me some of these pictures. And let's say I'll click on this one. I'll just wait for it to kind of open up there. The picture is going to load there in just a, a couple of seconds, and then I will right click it, select save image and then I'm, I might rename it inside my computer and then just save it. Now I've already done this, so what I'm now gonna do is I'm gonna come back over to my blog post and 
let's actually look where I should put this. So I don't want to put this too far into it. Um, so let's say if I put it right here. Uh, okay, so uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, I want to find a. Okay, so I'm going to put this picture down right here. Here's what happens. So I'm going to look for the word. Here's what happens. So I scroll down. Where is it? Here's what happens. Okay. So I'm going to do that. And then I want to find my images. So I want to add media. So I click on add media. And I'm going to select uh, media gallery. But let's go ahead and select upload files. So I'm going to select files. And then I'm going to call this uh, free. So this is what I saved this under. So it was under free government money. And then it's going to load up. And these are some, this is a catalog of some of my other images that I've done before. So it's loading up here and we'll just have to wait for it a little bit. Okay, okay, there it is. And I'm going to align this to the left, and I'm going to then go ahead, uh, select, in, insert into. Okay, so here's what happens. So I want to okay. I might have to play around for this. Let me actually click this in again. I actually want to do the center. So let's just leave it for right there. So just put it in the center, click update, and you want to go look at the picture itself. See how it actually looks on the blog. Because what it looks like here on the editor is a lot different many times than what it will actually look like on the blog. And what we want to do is we want to make sure it's centered. I don't like to have text around it because it just kind of depends on uh, whether somebody's going to view it mobily or in this. Okay. I'll return. Perfect. That looks pretty good. Okay. So here's my image. And the, and then a tax return and check. And that's my image. So it looks really good. It did what I really wanted it to do. Um, and I'm at about eight minutes now. Uh, so what you would also want to do is you might actually want to add a second picture if you would want. And it's completely up to you. Um, but let's see. I want to see if I can turn that into a text. So I want to have an ad. So uh, I might say, uh, so um, actually we'll do that part in another video. So um, we'll just save that, that, that section for another video. So you now know how to go ahead and add some pictures. And so um, as long as you you got enough content, got enough traffic coming to your blog. Uh, now you can go ahead and start adding pictures to your blog posts. Okay, but I do hope this information has been helpful. Take care, everyone. Have a great day, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye bye now.